In this first episode of Paranormal Lesson, I arrive in the small town of Pompham, Maine to investigate a historic military installation known as Fort Pompham. Built in 1862 by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the fortification was named after George Popham, the town's founder, and served to protect the mouth of the Kennebec River as a precautionary measure. Fort Popham was garrisoned during the Civil War, the Spanish-American War, World War I, and World War II. As time went on, modern warfare demonstrated that masonry-built forts were vulnerable and therefore many were decommissioned including Fort Popham. In 1969, the fort was added to the National Register of Historic Places and it was renamed to Fort Popham State Historic Site. The site is currently open to the public and is located a short distance from the popular Popham Beach State Park. Over the years, some visitors have claimed to hear what they describe as men shouting in the building after hours. Could these be the voices of the soldiers who were stationed there? Do their words still echo through the walls after all this time? Others are convinced that George himself still wanders the property in search of something. Whether or not these claims are substantiated, I will conduct my own investigation into the property and will reveal any findings that I come across. Good evening everyone. Thank you for joining me in this first episode. I am currently on location right now and I'm heading over to the site as we speak. I have with me just a couple cameras and my digital voice recorder. It's going to be a very basic investigation in terms of equipment. Eventually I do plan on upgrading, but for now I just have those things and also, most importantly, my eyes and my ears. So I'm stoked. I'm ready to get this show on the road. Let's go see if there's anything strange going on over here at the Fort Popham. And let's uh, hopefully not get rained out. All right, see you over there. All right, now if my voice sounds muffled, it's because I'm wearing a mask. And anytime I enter old buildings, I always try to protect my breathing because you never know what you're breathing in in places like this. Even though it's pretty ventilated, I still don't want to take any chances. So there are two levels. We're going to spend uh, an adequate amount of time on each one investigating the halls here. We're going to have a walk around and then after that we will conduct a EVP session. It is amazing that there's been three wars worth of soldiers stationed here at, at uh, three different times, including World War II, which uh, isn't shown here. A lot of history. In fact, when this place shut down, 
Uh, Fort Baldwin was built just slightly further up, up on a hill. And it was slightly bigger, more sophisticated and modern. That was around World War II era. And uh, after that, they really didn't have a need for this place. Anybody here with me? There's definitely lots to explore. There's anyone here, any soldiers still stationed here? You can come say hi. You know, being this close to the beach, those waves, you can hear them crashing. It's very nice and soothing. But when it comes to EVP time, that may be a little difficult. We're going to go upstairs in just a minute. But we're going to check out the rest of this first floor here. Now they named this fort after George Pompham. He was part of the team, I think it was the um, army engineers who helped build this place back in the mid-1800s. So George, if you're here, speak up, say hello. I do believe there's a staircase up here, coming up here soon. You can find it. Wow. Holy smokes. What happened in here? Time. Time happened in here. Doesn't look very sound. The brickwork is coming apart. I'm gonna get out of this room. And the occasional gulp created by the sound of the waves. It comes and goes. You see that? That was a bat. There's the staircase. Anybody here with us? With me? This is all granite, by the way. Some people believe that granite is a conductor for the paranormal. Being a skeptic, hard to believe that kind of stuff. But that's why I'm here.
Looks like they locked this one off, prevent anybody from going to the, the roof of the fort. I'm here to see if anybody wants to come say hi. Tell me your your story. Were you a soldier here? What war did you fight in? Remove my mask for a moment since we're so close to the opening here, fresh air. It's very quiet, other than the waves. This would be a good place to set up an EVP session. So before we continue exploring, that is what I'm going to do. So I have with me my tablet, which has the recorder on it. We're going to conduct our first EVP session here at Fort Popham. It is around 1 o'clock. Let's go ahead and begin. Is anybody here with me? Anybody who would like to speak with me about anything? My name is Bo, and I'm here to hear you, to hear your story. I'm from California. You ever been to California? No, I'm not sure if what I'm hearing are people talking in the distance. Could be those fishermen. Or just the the sound created by those waves they sound a lot like people. George Pompum, are you here? Rain under a shoe. enemy forces. So even though there really wasn't any conflict, these men worked here, and who knows what they did to pass their time. Probably 
not any different than soldiers today. Oh, look at this, guys. There is a staircase that goes up to the third level. I thought they were all closed off. I think before we go up, I want to finish exploring the rest of this second level here because we're almost there. I wonder where the bathrooms were. I'm curious if these little rooms were like little uh, washroom quarters, or kitchens or something. And uh, this is part of the roof here on the second floor. I wonder what those were for. Who's in here with me? Sorry for the uh, swishing of water, my water bottle. I gotta figure out a better system here for the future. Beautiful brickwork in here, that's for sure. There's a bit of an echo in here. It can be very misleading if you're not prepared for it. All right, let's hit the third floor. third floor is really just the roof, but it seems like it's gated, probably for the best, because they do open the gates to this place, to the public. Probably not the best area for an EVP session, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, the time is now two o'clock in the morning. We are at the, we are on the third floor, aka the roof, and I'm here to see if there's anything or anyone that wants to speak with me. a beautiful view. I can imagine the soldiers spending a lot of their time up here. Were you one of those soldiers? It's very peaceful up here. Mosquitoes are starting to come out a little bit. It is fairly, uh, fairly warm here, by the way. Uh, the jacket is to really protect me from the mosquitoes. I knew that I would be 
challenged with the mosquitoes when I came out here today, uh, tonight, so. But that's all right. Do you like mosquitoes as much as I do? Very quiet, very peaceful. I think um, I think maybe we could start heading down and maybe do a couple more EVP sessions in the courtyard and on the first floor, which I didn't spend a whole lot of time down there uh, from the get-go. So we'll go back and spend a little more time down there. Imagine a head just peeking up over that balcony there. I'm not even sure how I would react. You know, before I head on out, I do want to take a couple stills while I'm still here. And then we'll, then we'll head out. Let's go. Beautiful place, definitely spooky. All right, back onto the beach we go. Oh, birds. Couple doves, pigeons, classic jump scare. All right, here's another set of ruins not far from the fort itself as you're leaving. Well, that's never a good sign. The echo factor in here is like tenfold compared to what it was over at the fort. Can you hear that? Wow. Anyone in here? All right, well, that about wraps it up for this episode. I hope you guys all enjoy the exploration as much as I did. I'm going to go home and I'm going to kind of analyze all the evidence that I gathered tonight. We'll see what pops up. We'll see if any strange things um, are, were caught on camera or on the digital voice recorder. I'll let you guys know soon. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Paranormal Lesson, and I will see you on the next one. Good night. Based on my investigation, there was no evidence that I could find during my short time here that would lead me to believe that any paranormal activity was present at the fort. But that's not to say that others may have had unexplained experiences. In conclusion, I really enjoyed exploring the historic halls of the building, and I appreciate the opportunity to investigate nonetheless. 
I'm your host, Bo, and thank you for joining me, and stay tuned for the next episode.